Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome back to another episode of World of Horror. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm, I've been doing a little bit of HBO Max recently, because, you know, I somebody gave me their password, and they let me set up, like, a profile thing. Isn't that really weird? Like, you can basically... Like, because they know that you do that sharing with your friends and family thing, because when you log into somebody's account, you can make your own profile. Uh, and then you can have, like, your own show selection or whatever, but that's, like, regardless, it's not the point. Um, but, like, I've been, you know, watching a little bit of stuff on HBO Max, because I've been doing... Oh, they got Donnie Darko? What the heck? I haven't watched that movie in probably, like, a million years. But, uh, what was I gonna say? I've been looking for stuff to watch, because I've been playing a little... Well, I've been, I've been doing a lot of Crystalline Conflict, and it's really, like, it's really fun, but it's also, like, a game mode where you want second monitor content, but not second monitor content that's good enough to be primary monitor content, if that makes sense. Uh, maybe that doesn't, maybe that does. But, like, for me personally, alright, like, we'll do Ill-Fated, why not? We'll do Ill-Fated Koiji, why not? Why, why the heck not? All perks, too, let's live a little. But, uh, you know, it's like, for me, you know, I have my main monitor, and then I have my side monitor. And what I'm focusing on becomes main monitor content, and then everything else is second monitor content. And so if, like, I'm watching a YouTube video, and that YouTube video is real good, gets moved to the main monitor, whatever I'm doing on the main monitor gets shuffled to the side. You know, it's this constant, uh, constant chaos. And... So, like, I've been doing a lot of Crystalline Conflict. That's a main monitor activity, but it's something where you want, like, some good second monitor content, but not particularly, like, um, goaded second monitor content, right? Like, I've been watching a lot of, um, well, I mean, this is completely garbage, so we'll just go with this. The, the fastest Koji in the land. Um, although, now that I think about it, if we do this, this helps out the lighthouse a lot, because it gets us to seven... It, it, for relevant stats, seven, five, uh, seven, six, which isn't amazing, but it does basically kind of let us choose. Well, it gets us there for knowledge, though. I, I can't say no to adrenaline. I got to be real with you. Uh, and we'll take we'll take strength because you can't really go wrong with strength because we're gonna need to block anyways. And there's the strength check, and there's a knowledge check too, along with light source. So we'll probably go heavy duty flashlight, but I'm not entirely sure yet. It's pretty realistic that we could put two points into strength if we go ahead and grab the monkey wrench. But yeah, basically, the I'm in a long-winded way. What I'm trying to say is that I'm I, I'm trying to like find stuff that's good enough to just kind of have on, but not necessarily uh, pay attention to the whole time. Probably what you do to some of my videos as well. I'm self-aware enough to realize that this isn't primary monitor content. This is just you know uh, we're big chilling, right? Uh, so, like, if there was a content creator who did a lot of World of Horror stuff, I'd probably throw them on in the second monitor. Uh, and I do, like, I mean, there are a couple of them, but, uh, well, actually, probably not World of Horror, but that's sort of, like, the example that I'm going with, right? And if you want more World of Horror content, you got Death Runs. Great, uh, great streams. But basically, that's sort of, like, the analog, right? Like, um... Like, for instance, if somebody was playing, like, what would I care about watching in the second monitor? Because I don't really watch a lot of YouTube, to be honest with you. Well, we're terribly sorry. We've lost Emmerdale through some technical fault. We're trying to find the fault, and we will correct it as soon as we can and go back to Emmerdale as soon as we can. Until then, we'll play a little... Ah, I'm pleased to say we can rejoin Emmerdale. Completely stunlocked. You think you can get away from the important phone calls at night, but alas... Alas, you cannot. Anyways, what are we do what are we doing? What are we talking about? Um, I actually completely forgot. I've been stunlocked. Uh, but yeah, I've been looking for stuff to watch. Oh yeah, what would the analog be for me, right? Like, um, because I, I haven't watched uh, I haven't watched World of Horror content in a while. But uh, and I also don't watch m much YouTube that I I used to because it's basically like I watch. A couple of Warhammer creators that I like, and that's like primary monitor content because I'm watching them paint and stuff like that, you know. And uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll have the the Halloween drip. Why not? The the fastest uh, Halloween cosplay in the West. 
and by that I mean the east. But listen, if you go west enough, you'll eventually make it to, to Shiakawa. The the world is round sphery thing, but uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have lost some of the mojo. Like the banter train was derailed and they're currently like getting it back on track. But uh how disastrous of a derailment it is, uh, or it was, we'll see. I do like seeing Kana immediately. That's that's pretty cool. I also like vaguely remember the lighthouse. It'll probably be fine. Um, do we want to sell something immediately? Yeah, we'll sell the, uh, whatchamacallit. We'll sell the bot. Nah, do I want to sell the bottle of water? I'll just get cursed again, actually. I think that's fine. Uh, Stalker is, I mean, not great, but, like, it's not a huge deal. Nothing, nothing too crazy about that, but, uh... Well, I mean, in real life, it'd be a huge deal, but in the video game, it's plus one damage on an enemy we're never gonna see. Copium, copium. Uh, so we fail all of these, right? So we'll just, uh, we'll just try to basically just get through this the, the least damaging way possible. I'm gonna be real with you, Chief. We're not, we're never touching that. We're never going near that. Skin removal is interesting because it is a, a doom spell. So if we get into a fight we really don't want to be into, then we can kind of get out of that pretty quickly. I would like to get a brick or two. We'll go up to 10%. I'd like to get two. Thank you very much. But uh, yeah, no, I've been looking for stuff on HBO Max to watch. Uh, I heard there was like a a really... And you know, I'm hesitant, I'm hesitant to say this because like, you know, there's going to be that one guy who's like, how dare you? But uh, I heard the most recent John Oliver episode was really good. And I checked it out. It actually is really good. Uh, I was talking about, like, data privacy and all that. And, like, cookies are so crazy, man. Cookies are cracked. Like, it's absolutely insane what they can do. And how, like, easily they can track you. But I wasn't expecting how the, how the episode to end, right? Because basically what he did was he set up, like, a bunch of advertisements, like, a week prior, and any, and he basically made it to where those advertisements were specifically, because ads can be targeted, right? Like, you can target ads to a specific person if you want to. Uh, and so, you could say, free brick? Love to see it. Um, that's another thing you can say. But you could also say that, like, so let, let's say that, uh, you know, I have some, like, I mean, inevitably I have data out there. Um, but like, you know, if you wanted to specifically target me with an ad advertisement and you bought my data from like a data broker, you would have to figure out how to de-anonymize de it or however you say that, right? Uh, and so you'd have to be able to piece it together with like geolocation, your phone's GPS coordinates, which is all stuff that people can buy, by the way, just so you know, like, if you're, if you're somebody who doesn't like the idea of being tracked or whatever, like... Somebody could literally buy your phone's GPS coordinates and just have it. Like, and it, and then they could look up who lives at that house or who lives at that apartment. And then they can just like, oh, hey, that's that person. Because that's where they start their day every day. And then they, you know, they, it's really creepy, right? But what he basically did is he actually like set that up and he targeted those ads to essentially... Uh, like US lawmakers and he made the ads like super embarrassing like you wouldn't want somebody to know that you clicked on the uh, the Ted Cruz erotic fan fiction one it's probably <laughs> probably something you don't want people to know that you clicked on and then he was basically like he basically just dropped the hammer and is like you know if you don't want me to release all of this information because it's perfectly legal for me to do so currently then uh, better get working on those laws, boys. And it was like, that's pretty good. Like, that's actually really good. Like, that's a, that's actually one of the craziest episodes of TV I think I've ever seen. And of course, like, nobody knows if it's really, like, real or not, but I think he has a history for pulling stunts like that, so that's pretty cool. But, uh... So I, I finished watching that, and that was main monitor content. I was hooked. Like, the moment he basically, like showed those fake ads and like went through the the data that he got like that's pretty that's pretty engaging stuff right there but uh excuse me my my friends i don't have any apparently 
Koiji, like, Koiji's wondering why people don't approach him in the festival streets. He's wearing a different costume than everybody else. Everybody is wearing, like, a, you know, a festive... Oh, let's go! Love to see Ryoko in the final hours. Although, actually, I think we can get one more ally, potentially, Copium. Um, I think I'd rather just heal, though, I think. Because, like, yeah, it'd be great, but... I don't want to be at an even health number. I'd rather be in an odd one. Because that means we can take an extra hit if we need to. Because a lot of the stuff is going to be, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, thingamabob. You know, the thing. But, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been kind of casually just scrolling through HBO Max. And one of the things that, uh, you know, obviously the, the advertisers don't have me down enough yet. Maybe Firefox and its cookie blocking is actually doing its job. But, like, I, I don't like celebrities. Like, I don't like celebrities at all. And one of the things that popped up for me on HBO Max was this, like, uh, movie, like, something with the Nile, right? And the, the advertisement was this celebrity cast, uh, this, like, celebrity-packed cast or whatever, is in this thriller. And I was like, bro, my, my brother and or sister, that makes me want to never click on that ever. Like, if the selling point for your thing is celebrity was in it, like, I hate that. Oh, that's cracked, by the way. That's absolutely cracked. Can we do two hits with a brace? Oh, 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 oh no way, dude. So we can do 12 damage in a turn. So we just got to take 2% doom? That's wild. Also, we don't even need to level up strength ever again. But, uh, you know, we did anyways. Like, I I'm down for, uh, for five perception gaming. Like, nine strength is great. But, uh, yeah, no, it's like, what was I gonna say? Like, I, I don't wanna, like, if you're, the selling point for your thing is celebrity, or multiple celebrities, I don't wanna watch that. Like, I, I don't, I, I don't know anything about celebrities, right? Like, I know the, I know Robert Downey Jr., I know, uh, Jack Black, and I know, who's that other guy? Like, I can't, I can't name celebrities, right? If you were like, oh my god, the guy who played Captain America was so cool, or, uh, oh yeah, 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 the, uh, Mario guy. It's me, Mario, the Mario guy. Uh, Chris? Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt, that's the one. Uh, I know him, because he's playing Mario, and I know... I know Seth Rogen because he's playing Donkey Kong, right? Like, that's how I find out about a lot of people. Like, I, I found out about, um, Idris Elba? Is that how you pronounce his name? I probably butchered his name, and if I did, I'm sorry about that. But I found out about him because he's playing Knuckles, right? Like, that's the, like, that's the only reason I know, like, celebrities is, are they in a thing that I like? You know, and it's actually, like, really weird that, like, I I'm thinking about, like, oh, yeah, who are my favorite, like, fictional characters? And I'm just thinking of, like, and, and or who are the actors behind my favorite fictional characters? Or fictional characters that are, like, really memorable to me? And it's like, oh, yeah, Claptrap was, like, a financial advisor at Gearbox who's just doing the voicing for, who's just doing the voice for, like, fun. It's like, uh, a lot of the people from the English dub of Final Fantasy XIV were on Midsummer Murders. You know, like, the, the voice actress for Alize, or the English voice actress for Alize, has basically just done Alize, and that's it, you know? And it's like, yeah, I know not necessarily who they are, but I'm, like, aware of them. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's that person who did uh, Final Fantasy XIV, or, oh, yeah, you know, that's that person who did that video game. Which is actually, I believe that's how I found out who Jack Black was, was through Brutal Legend. It was either Kung Fu Panda or Brutal Legend, whichever one I saw first, I don't remember. But uh, I remember Kung Fu Panda being really good. Maybe I should go rewatch that. That's something I haven't seen in a while. But uh, I played the video game a lot. Like the Kung Fu Panda Xbox 360 game. That was cracked. Like that was actually really good. What are we doing here? I don't know. I hate this. I hate these mysteries. We'll do mermaids, I guess. Mermaids is just so long. Like I hate it. But uh, we got two bricks on us at the moment. So we don't really need to take a detour here like honestly like for this is exp so we'll take it like this isn't even a stat check like this is just you know 
Like, that's just EXP. Like, that's just a choice to make. Like, there's no stat stuff there involved. And yeah, sure, we'll get more, uh... We'll get more pain, why don't we? Uh, I like healing. I like healing a lot. We'll go ahead and take some healing as a treat. But, uh... Yeah, no, I'm not, uh, not a big celebrity guy. And so if you're like, whoa, check out these awesome celebrities who are doing cool shit, it's like, okay, yeah, damn, bro. I definitely know who these people are. For sure. That's crazy. Like, I could pro- I could one- I could a thousand percent name more YouTubers than I could celebrities. Like, if you put a gun to my head and said, name all the celebrities you know and then name all the YouTubers you know, I mean, you've got, like, Ian and Anthony from Smosh, you got PewDiePie, you got Jacksepticeye, you got Markiplier, you've got Captain Sparkles, like, I, I, you've got, uh, what was his name? Gold, golden? Yeah, like, the Golden Apple was his thing, but actually I can't remember him. You got, like, some of the old, like, first reaction channels. Like, you remember the people who pioneered the sort of, like, reaction genre? Well, not, like, not reaction genre, sorry, that would be react. Uh, but I mean, like, the commentary genre, if you get that, like, you know, you had people like I Hate Everything, you had people like, and I'm probably lumping, like, two different categories together, but I'm thinking of, like, the reaction commentary channels who are kind of like, uh, you know, Leafy and Pyro, and then I'm also thinking of, like, the, not necessarily, like, well, it's really weird to think, like, reviewer, because I always just thought uh, more of, like, a rant, like, for I, I Hate Everything, and, um... Adam? Adam? How do you... Is it, like, Adam from... Oh, YMS? And then Red Letter... Oh, Red Letter Media. That That's something I gotta go back and watch. Like, Red Letter Media is goaded. But, like... I think they did a new Star Trek video, which I really want to check out. Uh, what are we doing here? We're we're suffering. We're in agony. We're throwing the the brick the brick in the bottle, and then we'll probably just like uh, do do that. Yeah, that's fine. It's ruined. Oh no, my face! It's broken. Oh god. Can I get uh, as a treat? As a I want to replenish my brick stock. Uh, we'll just like I, we'll we'll just sell it. Like there. Like, the only use case that that has as a scenario is if we go to the hospital and get the threshold check. That's it. That's the only use case that that actually has. Are we going to fight this guy and kill him? I mean, we could. Do you want to? Yeah, sure, why not? I think that we can, we can definitely pull something like that off. But, like, yeah, no, like, I already named more like, YouTubers and I did celebrities. Although some of those are cheating. Like, you could say, like, Ian and Anthony from Smosh is, like, one channel, but I think they're all both doing their own thing now, right? Like, I haven't watched Smosh in, like, a million years. Like, that's a, obviously an, a comedic exaggeration, but I'm thinking of, like... I, I remember their first Pokemon videos. Like, like, their first Pokemon videos. Like, that's the sort of level that I'm on with, like, remembering that shit. And then there's like, what was it, Rocket Jump? The visual effects studio? They were great too. It's so weird, like there's just so many YouTube channels I'm aware of and then I'm like, I don't have anything to watch, bro. And it's like, no, I got plenty of stuff to watch. I just have to like remember the, the channels that I, I used to watch a long time ago and see if they're still good, right? And there's, like, a bunch of other stuff that you can always discover. Like, I don't watch... I, I used to watch a lot of World of Horror content. Like, I, I used to. I used to watch a lot of it back in the day. Like, if there was somebody that was, like... And, I, and by back in the day, I mean, like, probably, like, a couple months ago. Like, if somebody would stream the game, I would just, like, pop into the Twitch chat and hang around for, like, an hour or so. That's, uh... Hold on, we do need the friend's diary as a treat. Just to look at it, just to glance. Bow and a clap, bow and a clap. Confirmed. I almost want to, like, grab something that's not a brick, just so that we can have sort of, like, a in-between. Like, we don't want to throw a brick, but we want to throw something. We can have a wooden bat, just in case, me. I took self-therapy, right? Okay, good, I wasn't stupid. Self-therapy is very important when, like, yeah, sure, it's gonna amount to two reason. Okay, we're throwing a brick here, I hate this guy, he dies. But, uh, okay, so we can do... Ah, uh, do I want to do this? 
I think we'll actually just throw the wooden bat as well. Like, I hate that enemy. Like, Time Warper can go die in hell. Uh, well, there's Improvise. That's a little bit late, unfortunately, but, like, we've got nothing better. Like, here's the thing. We're gonna re-roll, but I want to explain why you don't re-roll in this situation and you just take Improvise. The reason being that in Ill-Fated, resting at your house is a lot more important because you're gonna fail every event, so that's a lot more guaranteed damage than you otherwise would have. Because even if you have bad stats, you're gonna roll low eventually. Like, it's just... It, it, it is just... You're gonna roll low eventually. But with this, you can't roll low eventually, and so you need to kind of have as much of a doom barrier between you and the, uh, the end of the world as possible so that you can sleep if you need to. Now, this run is going really well, so I don't think we need to do it, but I, you know, you obviously want to, uh, wow, I, I hate it, thanks. Um, I, I absolutely despise it. We'll take that just in case, and, uh, we'll go with a point of knowledge because we might as well. And it was a bow and a clap, right? Yeah, it was definitely a bow and a clap. Don't worry about it. Okay, so this is going to be a little sketchy. And by a little sketchy, I mean we're going to kill easily because it's not, a, it's not a big deal. So this, yeah, that's going to kill because it's going to be, uh, it's going to be exactly 20, which is really nice. Uh, so give me these two things uh, just in case I need to throw a fire axe, like a heat-seeking missile like I do in Hitman. But uh, yeah, I've been playing... Um, I actually started playing a, a new, well, not a new game, it's pretty old, but, well, okay, no, not pretty old, but, like, I started playing Grim Dawn, uh, just for reference of what I'm actually talking about. I started playing Grim Dawn again. I got to level 23 in Grim Dawn originally, and then I just stopped playing it, and, uh, I really do, uh, I, okay, so it's a bow, a clap, a bow... A clap? Uh, I'm not gonna remember that. I'll be real with you, Chief. I'm not gonna remember that at all. Freaky Flood? That's painful. But, uh... Yeah, no, so it's like... that That's a bad mystery, by the way. That, that, that hurt a lot. But we're gonna level up soon, so it's fine. What was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, Grim Dawn. I've been playing, I've been playing quite a bit of Grim Dawn as a treat. And I'm doing, like, a a sorceress build that somebody came up with. It's supposed to be good for, like, the end game or whatever, and it uses, like, meteors. I'm not entirely sold on it yet, but, like, it's fine. What? Are, well, let's just get lucky, Lamau. This should do four, right? Please tell me this does four. Thank God. It did five. Yeah, we, we threw art knowledge at him. Of course it did. He's weak to blunt. I keep for, for goring that. Uh... Oh, well, win in Rome, right? Might as well. We could definitely get uh, eight dexterity, if, eight dexterity if we wanted to. I don't know if there was a dexterity check. I just remember that it was strength and maybe knowledge. So we'll just take, we'll just keep taking strength because it's the only thing that really matters. Like just how fast we can kill things. Uh, we'll take a nap. That's fine. Like, like I said earlier, we want to have as much of a, like we need to be able to spend doom to rest uh in specific situations like this and we're gonna probably rest a couple of times before we end the mystery just because i'm not entirely convinced like something sus might not happen like even with fetid fumes it doesn't really matter uh we have a well like i was basically just trying to get our reason up uh nope absolutely do not care about skin removal in the slightest contaminated water well that does kind of suck but it should be fine uh, a lot of the stuff that we... And that's just muscle memory at this point. Like, I just do it by habit at the, uh, because, like, there's no reason not to. Uh, yeah, no, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Like, it... it, it I, I just glanced at the lighthouse. I'm like, no, it doesn't. It, I don't care. Because even if there is a charisma check, it, it, it literally doesn't matter. Uh, we might have to eat the, the lump of flesh, but... You know, that's completely fine if we have to do that. But one of the things that I was thinking about when I was, like, getting the, the episode, like, when I was setting up OBS, because OBS does this really annoying thing where I have to close it and reopen it every single time. Uh, oh, God. It, this literally doesn't matter. I'm just going to try to think of it for a minute while I talk. But uh, while I was setting up, because I just finished watching that John Oliver episode, 
uh, while I was setting it up, um, I had like HBO Max on the second monitor, and it's given me this trailer for the Batman, and it says it premieres in two days. But I thought Batman already came out because people were talking about it. Like people were talking. Like I, I remember having a conversation with uh, with uh, Plunger about it, and he was saying that he saw the Batman. And so why is it premiering in two days if it's already out? That doesn't make any sense. But uh, maybe it's because it's streaming early or something. I don't know. Like because a lot of the movies have just been coming out on streaming platforms immediately, right? Because of COVID. But now it's like, oh, streaming in two days. Wow, that's crazy. But, uh, like, I can watch the trailer. But I thought the Batman was already out. But I'm mostly interested in the, the animated stuff. So let's see what they got. DC. If I just type in DC, there's going to be a lot of that stuff, right? Young Justice, Teen Titans Go, Man of Steel. Yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff here. I, I watched, like, a while ago... I watched, uh, like, pretty much all of the old animated universe, but I think there might be, like, a new one, or there's, like, new movies, because I saw a clip on YouTube about, like, Batman confronting Darkseid, and I didn't recognize that, and it was animated, and I'm pretty sure it was the same, uh, voice actor for Batman, but I just didn't recognize the scene, so either that was, like, it was a second monitor movie, I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, or it was like, I just skipped that one? Like, I thought I watched all of them, because I had like a... It was really annoying. I had a wiki page open, and it was like, this is the order that you watch the movies in. That was really annoying, and some of the movies sucked. But, uh... Yeah, I'm trying to actually figure out, like, what on earth... Uh, what on earth that was from. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to go back and look at it. But there's like a bunch of new ones too. Like there's a bunch of new... Cause they started like... They they had like an animated universe. And it started with a... Like the Flashpoint or whatever. And then it ended with the Flashpoint because you know that's the whole point I think. I wasn't really paying attention. And then they have like the new... Which we don't even know. I don't even know if it's an animated universe. But they have like the new one where it's like Superman Man of Tomorrow and stuff like that. So, like, I don't, I don't know. This, this shit is confusing, man. I just want, like, I just want to watch, I just want to watch stuff, you know? Um, I, I don't want it to be complicated or hard, but unfortunately, that's just sort of what, uh, what happens. And, like, the weirdest thing with all this stuff is they have, like, they'll, they'll have, like, a title, right? Like, and I haven't watched this one yet, so, it's, but it's, like, Superman, Batman, Public Enemies, or, like, the one that I remember the most is one of the Batman ones where it's, like, his son. And it's, like, Batman versus whoever. It's Batman versus Robin, right? Batman versus Robin. And it's where, like, Batman meets his son, who's, like, part of the League of, League of Assassins or whatever. And then his son takes on the role of Robin. They fight for, like, three minutes in the movie, right? Like, the, the title of the movie, Batman versus Robin, spoiler alert, they fight for, like, three minutes. Like, they, they have, like, a... They, they fight for so, like... They do not fight at all, right? Like, there is very little of them actually fighting in the movie. And it's just, that's sort of how it goes, right? Like, that's just sort of how most of them go. But there are some of them that I haven't seen yet. Like, what the hell is the Fatal Five? Constantine City of Demons was actually kind of good. It, it was unhinged as hell and hilarious, but... there There's some, there's some things here that I want to watch. There's also... There, there's also this one that's kind of freaking me out here. Justice League Justice is Grey by Zack Snyder. And that's like, I remember, like, there, there's some things on the internet when you just kind of hear about them. You just kind of, like, smile and nod and scroll past it. Because I'm thinking, like, people were freaking out about the Snyder thing, right? Like, people were like, the Snyder cut. And I'm just like, you know, I don't, I don't think I want to engage in that sort of lifestyle. You know, I think I can live my whole life without knowing what people were were talking about, you know? And there's, there's also just stuff that I've never heard of before, like... There's the, um... Well, I have heard of the live-action Super, Superman movie. Like, that's apparently, like, really silly, right? And then there's the live-action Catwoman. 
But there, there's definitely some interesting ones that I might want to check out. But, like, that's... It, it, this is just, like, trying to find second monitor content. Stop holding the video hostage. Stop holding the video hostage. Okay, stop holding the run hostage, I, I should say. But listen, for some reason, I've been stunlocked by this. So what was it, right? Like, the first thing that we fought... So it's not Forgotten Specimen. Like, we can, we can rule that out. We did eels first, so Twisted Corpse was the was the first enemy, for sure. And then the second enemy is, did we get Aspiring Model or Nameless Horror? I honestly think it was the Nameless Horror. I honestly do. Yeah, it was. Because I, I don't think we fought the, the... The thing that stole it from me was that uh, it didn't, like... How do I put it? I don't, I, I was like trying to think back, cause like, did we fight the inspiring model during Fear Festival? And the answer to that question was no. So obviously it had to have been Nameless Horror because we did Fear Festival second. I'm pretty sure that's how it works anyways. Uh, so yeah, anyways, we played for a bit, a hot minute. Uh, stay safe out there, have a good one. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do, whether I wanna do like Grim Dawn or like... Uh, Crystalline Conflict. Crystalline Conflict is really good, but I just, I need something to, like, pay attention to while I'm not doing that, because it's like, it can get brain dead. Because it's like, you just, y y there are some games that you have on Crystalline Conflict where you just do not think at all. Because either your team is cracked and you just win in the first, like, 30 seconds, or your team is bad at the objective but good enough at killing so the run goes on for like eight for like five minutes like i think the longest run i have is like six or seven minutes i was gonna say eight but i think that's like more of an exaggeration of how long it felt because you can go into overtime for a long time at least it feels that way but like you have a, a team who can't push the crystal and it's but they can kill enough to where you don't lose the game immediately so it just drags out for so long and then you lose because the enemy got 80% uh, progress and then you got like 0.2% progress the whole game. But like, you know, it is what it is. Like, you ju I just need something to listen to or watch or like even watch. Like, if you're spamming your, your heal button, you're not going to die that quickly unless it's a samurai or a machinist. And I should say that I'm playing white mage, so samurai and machinists always focus me first. I actually had a game where, and I'll end the episode in a moment, I had a game where this paladin just stuck to me the entire round, and it was so bad, because, like, I was targeting someone who wasn't the paladin. I was, like, you know, I, I, I was hitting them with glares, I was hitting them with miseries, I was lining up the purgation, and this paladin was just on me the whole time. And the, the paladin doesn't do damage, so it doesn't matter, right? But they do stun, they do lock me down, which means that I, I'm, like, falling behind the team, and, like, my team could never get a kill, because they wouldn't target the other white mage, like, the enemy white mage. And so, it was just this, like, weird limbo, where it's like, I couldn't do anything, because I had a paladin following me around 24-7, killing me. And so I had to focus on keeping myself alive, and my team couldn't get past the enemy warrior, so they just kept, like spam attacking the enemy warrior while they were being spam healed by the white mage and it was like oh my god oh my god just just like machinist please use use your like your spite ability and just like yeet you dab me for like 80 percent of my health god just like do it but uh yeah sometimes you have to uh sometimes you got to take the l so anyways have a good one stay safe out there bye